guys, this is Michael. I'm with my friend April. We're out here on a late afternoon. I'm uh, going to check some lines. If you've been watching, you know what's going on. We got 12 limb lines. Uh, I've moved them around since the last video, a few of them, uh, because the water's going down and some of them are just uh, getting old. So I moved them around and then we still got the two trot lines. We're getting down to the last couple of weeks of trot lining here in the early season and uh, then we're going to be taken out and then we'll start back up in the late season in a different area but i wanted to go ahead and do a a rundown of something just to make a few things clear we do some giveaways on this video and uh, some of the th some of the things that we give away are 25 dollars gift certificates to cabela's t-shirts hats and occasionally we'll uh, do some unique item but Currently, what we're doing is every time we hit 5,000 more subscribers, we are doing some type of giveaway, so watch our numbers. And then we also have what we call a white rabbit. There's a little white rabbit that shows up occasionally, not in all the videos. And if you find the white rabbit and you comment in our comment section uh, with the timestamp and the word white rabbit and you're the first person, you will win a shirt. And I'm going to go ahead and add that sometimes we might do more than one. So if somebody's already commented, go ahead and uh, comment too if you see it. And we might do two or three shirts if, if we have it. I'm going ahead and discontinuing the Instagram side. It's just too com confusing. So no more white rabbits on Instagram unless you just want to tag me. And then we're also doing a... Uh, anytime we have a fish over 20 pounds, as long as it's alive, I'm going to add. And it's in the boat. Even if it jumps in the boat or if we find it um, halfway alive and we put it in the boat, it's still 20 pounds. And we're going to do a, a $25 gift certificate to Cabela's. And the people that can win that would be people that comment on these videos. You send me emails or you comment on Instagram. And another thing I was wanting to do is uh, we have some frequent questions. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and answer them one time right here. I don't always answer them in the comment section because they just get asked over and over. A lot of people ask what we do with the fish. A lot of these fish we take and we bag, we freeze, and we give it to the local community. We don't sell any of it. We just give it away. I give it to family and friends. And then sometimes, like last weekend, Memorial Day, we were actually supplying a lot of the uh, cookouts with some of the fish. But over half of the fish, we actually just let go. I don't like to do it on the camera because i got to make some phone calls. Sometimes we'll put them in a basket, let it wait for a day, see who wants them, see who doesn't want them. And if nobody wants them or if I can't find a good place, then we go ahead and let them go. I just don't like to let them go on camera, basically because to me it's kind of, I feel kind of guilty going through all that trouble fishing just to hook a fish, just to show it and then let it go, you know. It seems like, uh, seems like I should have a little bit more of a purpose than that. And then some people are asked if I'm dating my fishing partners, and the answer is no. We're just literally fishing partners. Like... You know, a lot of people see two people together fishing on the channel, and I guess they assume we're all together. But whenever I see two people fishing together, I don't assume that. So, you know, I'm here in Kentucky, I'm looking for fishing partners all the time. And these are the only people I can find. So it's hard out here in Kentucky. All right, guys, we're going to go try to catch some fish. Wish us luck. yesterday This is our uh, first trot line. It's actually the second one we put out if you've been watching. But we're gonna run it first today. Hey, look at me. Make sure it's focused. Comment below if it's focused, I can't tell. Yeah. All right, it's right there, real low. 
Oh, my bad. It's kind of real low to the water. I readjusted the lines, tightened them up a little bit. Yesterday, we put all bluegill on the lines, minnow, uh, medium to small. Just be careful, because uh, there's a, a big tree right here, so I don't know if it's hung on it or not. And then the, the limb lines, or the dangly lines, <laughs> we, uh, hold on, we're stuck back here. Should we get the dangly lines we put skipjack chunks on. And it's about, it's kind of later than in the evening. There's not much sun. So we're kind of in a hurry. Watch out. Whoa. Me. <laughs> what, what, what is it? Where is it? I got new nets if you want to start using them. Oh! <laughs> no, did it the April way. Little channel cat. Got cute. That's actually a perfect channel cat. We got, one, we got a gar! We got a gar! We got a gar! Oh yeah, look at him! Oh, I think he's a biter, ain't he? Okay, just try to. Here's um, a net. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Because <laughs> uh, his mouth can open. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful, his mouth's right there. Wait, 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 where's that other fish at? Okay, where do I need to be? <laughs> Just sit right there. No, I don't want him to bite me. He's not even alive. He's not alive? Oh, yeah. poor guy. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. No. All right, guys, this is a uh, long nose. Uh, Whoa, oh, he's alive. He's alive. See, uh, see that mouth there? Uh huh. That's what April's afraid of. Um, you should be. Yeah, I should be. These have been known to come up and bite you when you're swimming. We gonna let him go? Yeah. Yeah, some people will say use it for bait. I don't, I'm just. Bye. We're actually not baiting up this afternoon. Oh uh, yeah, here yeah. I'm gonna let you run. Yeah, wanna... You're running the point. I gotta do the camera. This lighting, I have to constantly adjust the camera. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not baiting up today because I'll be back tomorrow to readjust some of this stuff. And we only have so much money and time to catch bait or buy bait. And apparently we caught, we haven't got skunked one single time this entire year. He's all right. <laughs> and we, that's the first car we've got in a long time. I was beginning to think we were getting lucky. Well, would you look at that? What is it? Oh, another one. Another one. I wonder if he's dead. I don't, know. don't let him fool you. I don't know what you find out though. Come bite me. This one is actually dead. Got something else. I got something. Now, the last few videos, we got the hell out of uh, Flathead. And I'm, I'm kind of... Another kinda, one! Another gar? Another one. Another catfish? No, another gar. Dang it. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. Oh, that hurt. That hurt like... Okay. Oh. That hook got me. All right. <laughs> this is inconvenient. <coughs> Inconceivable. Gar. I gotta work to get this hook out. His tail's cool. Some people actually like to eat these. Around here, it's like, ah! But around here, it's kind of unheard of. I guess you gotta know what you're doing when you cook them. <laughs> he got away. Hear that groaning sound? 
definitely under the boat. All my bait's missing, but I um, I think we just saw who stole all my bait. Those gar. Yeah, you yeah, got, something. got something. Else. Careful. Oh, he's I mean, be prepared to go the other wow, way. Wow, he's real. He's strong. Be prepared to go the other way. Whoa! Is it a, is it a flathead? He's, whoa! You're okay. gonna have to get this one. He's big. Go the other way. Back that way? Yeah, like we were talking about. Oh, he's a good flathead. Yeah, he's big. <laughs> you, you can land him. Here. Use this net. This is the big net. <laughs> and... Oh! Wow! That's crazy. Now, really, you want to try to put it in front of his face on the other side of the line, far side. Yeah. And put it right in his face, and he'll swim it right down into it. There you go, right there. There. You got it. Now, hope. Oh! oh. <laughs> I made a liar out of myself. Go downward, fish. All right, we're good. Now April has caught a big old flathead. Now that's what you get when you fish during spring, pre-spawn, and you use bluegill. Uh -oh. No, he's too, well, no, very unlikely. And like I said, they don't just like reach over and fin you. Like, they can fin you if you kind of get like in the right angle or maybe what I would call the wrong angle but for the most part you'll be out is that a fish right there yep. that's a good size here use a small net on him or you can throw him up he's just a channel he's a big channel though oh, oh I flathead don't like that <laughs> we got another one there's another one is he real big that's a flat here use a small net on him use a net on him Wait, I got it. Here. <sighs> All right, I'm catching the heck out of fish on the trot line, not the tree line, limb lines. Uh, just scoop, get him. And he's small enough; it won't matter. Just scoop him. All right, you're good. That's the ones everybody want right there. All right, so. And that is it on line number one. We got a few more limb lines up the river here. We, yeah, go ahead and drop it. And then we got another trot line all the way at the, at the top of our fishing area. I forgot to mention the cat daddy hook. Doesn't look like there's anything on it. We'll we'll check that on the way back down. We're running out of light here. I'm really not having any luck on my cat daddy hook. Comment below if you have any suggestions. We're using a bungee cord, and my goal is to always hook up in some snags like that. And the bungee cord's kind of to mimic a tree limb, but and I have a big piece of bait on it with a big 12 odd hook. But I think I'm like 0 for 7 now. bluegill and one goldfish yesterday and again I got April last year she went by AP but we're going with April this year she wor works in Bowling Green if you want to follow April her Instagram is in the description and it is Wanderlust 51491. I assume that's your birth date. Mm -hmm. She posts occasionally and she goes fishing occasionally. Some people, another frequent question is why doesn't the same person go fishing with you, Michael? And my answer is not everybody can go fishing eight times a month, which is how many videos we're trying to put out. Uh, not everybody wants to and not everybody can usually my schedule and their schedule do not line up so 
and like i said i'm just out looking for people to go fishing with hang out with and it's kind of cool to make videos every now and then so you know the people that are on the channel they're just who wanted to go at the time who could go at the time and uh it's part of my recipe on making videos we'll see if we can catch one more april i know we can i feel it oh yep you got one right there it's a big one it's a big one it's a channel cat though it's it's a small netter or a no netter no that's a big that's a blue cat hold on <laughs> here uh yeah it's a blue cat oh you get his head there you go i know it's a little awkward but that's the best way and just hold him and you got this april all your april power all species in the boat now flathead channels and blue cats oh yes is he gonna feed me uh, yeah <laughs> that one you do want to worry about yeah i mean he's not gonna reach over and feed you well, yeah. all right that's that's six fish. I'm gonna leave that within reach. Oh, there's a bluegill. We, <laughs> we got one piece of bait left. And April has starting to become an experienced trout line runner. You notice how she keeps the line on the outside of the boat. She's got a knife stashed away. Oh, there's something big out there. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. Wow. Let's be careful. It's a shark. No, that is a big one. Yeah. Hold on. Be careful. He, he could run straight down. Wow, look at him. I know. Here. Goodness gracious. Big netter. <laughs> oh! Um, That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take two. All right, so the line jumped out of her hand. Happens sometimes. And we're going to get back out there and get this big blue. Cue the fast forward music now. All right, this time I'm gonna I'm gonna man the net. Just hold on, slow down, slow down. Slow, stay right there, right there. All right, we're gonna try to get this guy in the boat. Watch out, don't him. He broke the freaking line. Dang. I mean, you see, did you see how fat it was? Still getting. All right, now we're going to the other line. He must have somehow braid my line. Okay, this time we're switching places. <laughs> All right, so the fish somehow broke the line. It's not that big, but my line broke. We're gonna try to come in on the other side. All right, so with the broke line, we're gonna have to get lucky here. I'm just saying. Have it ready? Yeah. Or you might be able to use it from the side. The question is, was there any other fish on it? <laughs> We're gonna have to take these sinkers and stuff off. Now this is a first. Of course, anytime you got a camera on. Is he still on there? Oh, yeah. All right, I got it. Get there. 
I got something right here. Not the same fish? No. Grab it. Get it. Alright, so we're still on the hunt for this big blue. Yeah, no, that one's not it. That's all right, so we'll take his flat, even though at the expense of my trout line. Alright. Just like you did right then. We're gonna go after this thing. Another flathead. All right. All right, we gotta hurry up. Yeah, that one's not in either. <laughs> We're catching the hell out of this. We gotta be close. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever pulled up a broke line. I feel it. I feel something. It's got to be him. All right. <laughs> like I said, he's not that big, but he, he mm -hmm. has good Wait. size. Yeah. Now, how he broke the line, I don't know. He's heavy. And then again, I've never used this type of line. So. Right, you're caught. Get over it. Y'all right, know this guy. Hold him, hold him. I got him. All right, turn him this way. Got it. All right. Uh, all right, like I said, he's, oh. <laughs> he's a big one. Wow. Broke my dang line, too. All right, guys. Let me see that. Look inside that. Look inside that uh, thing and get the scale. All right, so. Twenty-four, twenty-four, seven. <laughs> I don't know if that's right or not. He, he looks bigger than that. I don't know. Either way, that's a an immediate giveaway on camera. And so, like I said, anything over twenty pounds, then we'll get into the comment section and or the Instagram comments or any message that you send me, and I will send you a. $25 gift certificate and this winner will be 
Robert Richards 257. If you're watching, I'm talking to you on Instagram. Just send me another message and send me your email address and I'll send you a $25 gift certificate to Cabela's. Okay, so me and April, we caught some good fish. There's four nice size flathead, two decent sized channel, and two blue, one of them about 25 pounds, according to my scale, which I'm starting to uh, wonder if I need to get a new one. But that's a good catch, and uh, we are going to try to get this trout line up as much as I can, maybe reset it. I don't know, that might, that might be a season ender. We'll find out. But anyway, this is Michael Horn, and we're fishing on the Green River. So keep commenting, keep subscribing, keep sharing, and hopefully you'll win something. If not, hopefully we can entertain you.